Instagram live, live from the barn here at Warwick Farm, of course the boys side and very exciting, yesterday we had one of our favourites back in, there he is, Osmosis, so he looks absolutely fantastic, of course the Coolmore Stakes winner, he's got a great temperament and uh, couldn't be happy with how he spelled so he's got plenty of quality he's come back definitely bigger and stronger and he'll head towards the galaxy in the autumn so great to have him in for derby racing looks fantastic and in terms of the horses last week infatuation was really good uh, she's going to go to the Gosford Guineas on the 28th. I thought it was an excellent run first up. She's always going to be vulnerable. And she ran fourth in the Magic Millions two-year-old race last year. The plan is to get back there as well. And um, as well as that dream flight, he was 50 to 1, I think, and ran a really good race for second. So he's going to run next Saturday over 2,000. Good to see him show something. He uh, was a relatively high-priced import that hadn't done a lot, but thankfully... He turned it around. Um, we also had Om Zaki was a very good run in the Grand Prix. Group 3 over 2100 up the line. Um, he went super. And he's gone out for a break, so the plan will probably be to come back for the Magic Millia, uh, for the um, Queens and Derby. Here we go. One of our other very good friends here, Arapaho, <laughs> he is... Mr. Casual himself, that's right. Just got a great temperament and it's been smooth sailing with him, this preparation so far. Um, he's hard not to love. Just a great temperament. So possibly we'll look at the Tancred. Maybe, the, of course, he won it uh, earlier this year. And maybe even a race like uh, we ran fourth in the Sydney Cup, but Australian Cup possibly. He loves his cuddles, ain't hey, mate? Mm. So, he's, uh, he's going great, thrilled with him, and I've even got some notes today. So, uh, of course, we're coming up to Christmas, uh, and then New Year 2023 will be done and dusted. It's been a great year for the stable. Obviously, Osmosis, Arapaho, those are two of the highlight horses. Uh, five winners in a day at Randwick and of course Overpass, the winner of the winter bottom. He's out having a break. He'll probably come back mid-January, of course, just going for the, the quokka. Um, here is Dream Flight. He's in fantastic order, lovely, relaxed customer. And uh, it was a good run last week. Canadian Ruler, he went a really good race on a wet track on Wednesday here at Warwick Farm. So I think once he's on top of the ground over a little bit further, he'll continue to go really well. Um, so we've got Magic Millions coming up. So if you haven't signed up to our database, please do so. Um, Bakerracing.com.au, uh, I think we may put a link to this as well. And if you're interested, make sure you've got your phone number. So we're just going to text... Um, text as soon as we buy a horse and if you're interested in it first in first serve generally uh, recently our horses have sold really quickly so that's sort of the plan obviously want to get some really nice yearlings next year I think uh, we've had a good year and haven't had many horses available for a wee bit of time so if you're interested make sure you're on our database it'd be great to have you involved there's no more fun than winning races and He's one of the runners tomorrow, uh, Frosty Rocks. He's fantastic. He had a bit of a jump around this morning. Um, he's got to start delivering. Of course, he's one of our old favourites. He rolls to the front, and as you can see, he's a ball of muscle. So 1,400 at Randwick. He looks to lead, and hopefully we can get him up to the Magic Millions. That's been the long-term plan. In the same race, we have Battleton, and he's... Also first up, so we hope he can run a pretty good race. Uh, 1,400 first up uh, might be a little bit tough, but we'll see how we go. Um, and the other horse we've got running tomorrow is Father's Day. He's the best chance. He was, looks fantastic this morning. We couldn't be happier with him. He is going really, really well. And the last one in tomorrow, relatively quiet day, is Don Pedro. Uh, big, bad Don Pedro. <laughs> he uh, 
and he is in the last race at Randwick. We'll probably go to Wyong with him. I think he's going really well. He um, came second in the Saturday race last time in. I think he's definitely stronger. He's improved, and I think he's in for a good preparation. So please keep an eye on him. He's uh, he's going super. So he's one to watch. I think Father's Day is probably the best hope. Um, make sure you have a great Christmas. What else have we got? Any questions? Hit me. How is a more victorious going? It's a good question. Here he is, a more victorious. He's coming along super. He uh, he looks great. He's in really good order. I, of course, he he did a very good job last time. He won a Saturday race and. He's still a little bit woolly, he's got improvement, but he's coming along really well. So he's probably a couple of weeks away from trialling. I think we can have a good preparation. I think he's only going to get better the further he goes as well. Uh, next question. How far is Father's Day winning by tomorrow? I think he's very well. I think he can run a really good race. He's been a revelation of recent times, so he's going super. Um, here from Sarge Piff, Will Overpass go to the Doom in 10,000 or Quokka first up? So last year he went to the Quokka, then came back and went to the Doom in 10,000. That's probably the logical aim. Of course, his run in uh, both races was outstanding, beating uh, Amelia's Jewel. There might be the rematch. And, of course, uh, the Doom in 10,000 just second to Giga Kick, so went super. Uh, and a question regarding Fleet Commander. We may even go straight to the races. He's going pretty well. We're happy with how he's going. And it was on the poly track today, so we don't get a lot of benefit out of that. We're better off probably giving him a good gallop on the grass. Now, here's a horse I think has improved out of sight. Uh, looks absolutely fantastic. And she's running Boxing Day over 1,200. She was a very good winner last time. Spring Lee. I think she's going super. And I think you definitely keep an eye on her. As well as that baby ride is also in uh, the Summer Cup, I think, on Saturday. His work this morning was excellent. And um, we'll have a quick look at Ida. She's going to go to the Bell of the Turf on Saturday. I think she uh, on the 28th at Gosford. I think she can run a really good race there. She's down on the minimum. She gets in well at the weights. Her last run was excellent. The blinkers go on and Rachel King rides. So uh, I think she can run a big race. The same day we have Infatuation running in the Gosford Guineas. As mentioned earlier, she should go well. Any more questions? That's about it. Uh, That's about it, folks. Have a great Christmas. The last word for 2023, Glenn Lob Lobby. Uh, well, what do you want, a winner? Uh, I don't know what we can win before the end of the year. Probably, um, probably Father's Day tomorrow. Brilliant. Thank you. And look at the new horsepower in the stable. Here we go. Fantastic. Sheesh, no phone, no on the phone while you're sweeping, mate. <laughs> Health and safety. See you, team. Thanks for your support through the year. Onwards and upwards, 2024.